Rocks stacked on top of each other. We found another crystal. A green crystal. There are loose rocks lying all over the place. We found another crystal. A green crystal.
Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. We found another crystal. Recesses in the rock. Wow! Nina, you were right. You shock me. <clears throat> Mr. Gruber, if you would. Take a look at this. I've seen work like this before. In Guatemala. And these columns look late Roman. Absolutely fantastic. This complex must be thousands of years old. Some of the pictures show guardians being tortured and burned. What happened? I see some kind of emergency escape capsule. The guardians seem to have become more cautious. Hmm. Do you think they work? <sighs> Since those two are occupied, it looks like I'll have to deal with the locked door myself. Let's see what this console's arrangement is. Hmm. It's an Occidental relief. Probably from the Middle Ages. Exactly twelve figures. Each with a letter above their heads. Wait. Not all of them. The final twelfth letter is missing. Twelve figures. All of them have letters above their heads, except for one. A depiction of the Indian god Ganesha. Beneath that is a row of symbols. Two of them seem to be missing. Two of the symbols under the relief of Ganesha are missing. Egyptian hieroglyphs. I'm no expert, but maybe there's something particular about it seems like each symbol occurs a different number of times. Maybe that's somehow related to the solution of the puzzle. The door to the station is locked. This button turns the first code wheel. I hope I can use this to open the door to the station. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. The door is now open. Please follow me. That's it. The deuterium. It's powering the whole facility. That little thing? That thing is pure energy. Yes, this will work. How? 
With the deuterium, we can finally start the machine. No. Some kind of force field. I can't get at it. We need to move on. We have to find the antimatter. <sighs> Max? What's wrong? Don't worry. He's not dead. Not yet, anyway. And don't worry about the antimatter, either. It's stored safely at CERN. So... so it was all a lie? The raid, the theft, it was all for show? You wouldn't have let us here voluntarily, would you? We need the deuterium. Without deuterium, our research would be in vain. I've injected your fiancé with a slow-acting poison. It is spreading through his body. He has perhaps 20, maybe 30 minutes at best. Bitch! You're wasting time. This is the antidote. If you can figure out how to deactivate the force field, you may have it. I don't have any choice. I'd better find a way to get the force field down. That would be a waste of time. The force field can't be deactivated there. I have to go deeper into the facility. Poor thing. Doesn't look like he's doing well at all. I have to help Max. This isn't the end. You should hurry. Your fiancé's time is running out. Find a way to deactivate the force field surrounding the deuterium. Then you'll get the antidote. I've got no choice. I have to do what she says. I got the walkie-talkie from Cunningham. I should keep in touch with her while I try to deactivate the force field. The deuterium is protected by a force field. A number of people are depicted. Jesus! The kneeling man looks like... Max! And the person next to him? That could be me. And the one on the right, holding the pistol. Isn't that Cunningham? How weird. The themes seem to depict the past, present, and future. There's a picture of a compass on this hand. This hand is decorated with the symbol for man. You can see a jambaya on this hand. You can see a skull on this hand. There's an eye on this hand. This hand is decorated with the symbol for woman. A paintbrush has been painted on this hand. The pistol is depicted on this hand. There's a picture of a compass on this hand.
Is that one of them? Is he still alive? What's going on? Where are you? Hurry up! Did you speak to me in my dreams? What did you want to tell me? Many years have passed since our last encounter. We have called to you in your dreams because we need your help. Uh -huh. Our brotherhood has existed for millennia. Our task is to protect humanity. Protect? From what? From itself. Our ancestors were still hunters and gatherers when the gods granted them deuterium, a source of nearly unlimited energy that bestowed great power upon them. In return for this gift, our ancestors had to swear a holy vow that they and their descendants would prevent mankind from exceeding a certain technological limit. How's that working out for you? During the Middle Ages, we were persecuted without mercy. We were brought to the brink of extinction. Then began what is known today as the modern era. An incredible explosion of knowledge and technology. It was only a matter of time before the computer would be invented and the hidden message in Pi discovered. What is it with this damn number? I told you of the Fermi Paradox. How could it be that there are no intelligent civilizations in the universe capable of intergalactic travel? It is because whenever a civilization anywhere in the universe advances to the point where it is capable of developing computers, it will inevitably discover the message hidden in Pi. And that civilization's curiosity will lead it to build the machine. And then what? What does the machine do? It destroys everything. The fire. Whoever created this message wanted to ensure that intelligent life would never expand exponentially through the universe become a threat to others. Now you must ensure humanity does not follow this path. You must prevent this machine from being activated. As a sign of our trust, we will grant you access to this station's power supply. You will make the right decision. If I have to, I could deactivate the force field from this console. 